In this video, we'll finish building the main functionality of our scavenger hunt app. So you can see what it'll look like uh, on my phone. It'll tell us to select an item uh, below to take a picture when I find it. So I will select computer and then take a picture of my computer, select use photo, and then uh, it will turn that particular row green. Um, if I select helmet, and take a picture of my computer. Then we'll see the picture of the helmet, or see a picture of the laptop, but nothing happened. Uh, but if I do actually take a picture of the helmet, select use photo, then uh, we see that it has helmet and then selects helmet inside of here. So let's get started uh, finishing up our app. I'm going to click live test so that we're actually testing the particular app that we've been doing so far. Now, uh, the app that we have right now has two pieces of functionality. The first is that whenever I tap on any item inside the state of viewer list, uh, the text goes to the label and then appears here. And also this becomes green. So I can type tap chair and then it goes here, or I type helmet, and then it appears here. The other piece of functionality we have from two videos ago is if I tap this button on my phone, I take a picture, select use photo, then the photo is here, we have the text here, and uh, if the word computer is inside of this uh, inside this sentence, then the background color will turn green. So we want to combine these things so that when I, I'm able to tap on one of the items here, and then that causes us to take a picture. So let's go to our blocks. And this is what we've built up until now. So before, when we clicked on the button, that's when we took the picture and that's when we set the uh, label to have the description of the image. We actually want to do that whenever we all of these blocks inside of the data viewer item click. So now uh, when I click on the data viewer item, it'll take a picture, it'll set the description. And uh, if the label's text contains the word computer, then it will turn the entire screen green. So this will do exactly what my button used to do. If I type on helmet, for example, and then take a picture of my screen, then uh, it says that uh, it took a picture of my computer. And since the text here include the word computer, I turned the entire screen green. Now, there's two problems with this. I typed in helmet, so I want to be able to actually see that the helmet was uh, the thing that it's looking for. Uh, and the entire screen is green. Let's deal with the helmet first. So instead of checking, uh, does the label's text always contain computer, I'm going to see if it contains the word that we had just selected. So uh, remember from our previous blocks, what this will do is basically see if um, the, uh, for the particular row that I uh, tap on, will the value from the list actually be um, inside of the text of what I found. So let's try this out. So I'm going to type, uh, tap the helmet uh, item on my list. I'm taking a photo of my computer, select use photo, and it takes a picture of my computer. It says it's a computer, but we see that nothing here turns green. And this is good because I selected helmet and there's no helmet inside. So let's try this with the helmet. So if I tap helmet, take a picture of my helmet, select use photo, then I see it, it recognizes the helmet, uh, but now we have the entire screen turning green. So 
I really want to have it so that only the helmet turns green. That way I can select other items in the list. So I'm going to remove the uh, uh, setting the screen's background color. And I'm going to add blocks to turn the row green. So let's try this out. So if I select computer and take a picture of my computer, select use photo, then we'll see that the computer turns green and only the computer. If I select helmet, take a picture of my computer, we'll see that uh, nothing happens. Um, but lastly, if I select helmet again and take a picture of my helmet, select to use the photo, then we'll see the helmet itself becomes green. Now to finish this up, we'll just clean it up a little bit. Uh, so we don't need the uh, set screen background color, the uh, set the text, and uh, this button that we use to test a lot of things with, uh, like the camera, we won't need anymore. So I'll delete this also. Then inside of the design, we'll also delete the button. And we'll also provide instructions for the user. 